Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna go over our color grading process for our videos. So I have a few selected clips from recent projects we have done, and I'm just gonna go through each one and talk about kind of our process and what we do in our node tree to get the look that we have. Okay, so I'm opening up in DaVinci right now, and I have a couple clips right here. So let me start with this first one. <clears throat> so this is a small clip from a video of me playing the guitar. Okay, and so I just opened up in the color panel and I'm gonna be talking about this clip right here, <clears throat> starting in my node tree. So I usually just start with these three nodes in, the, in my tree. And so I just go to the middle one and you know, I want to start by converting it to Rec 709. So I just go to the effects. Yeah, and I pop in the color space transform and then I put in my data that's from the camera. So I'm shooting in SKM at 3 Cine. Okay, so actually before we do that, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention is it's important to calibrate it. And I've also seen a lot of videos on different variations of <clears throat> making sure your monitor set up correctly. And so this is what I found gives like the exact look to what you want it when you export it. So you go here, as you can see on my screen, just go to the settings, project settings, and you go down to the color management panel. And I just go down to Rec 709A, and I set my output color space to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. It's important to also go to your preferences in the DaVinci app, and then go down to um, general and then make sure this one's clipped as automatic or use Mac display color profiles for viewers so make sure you guys have that clicked as well okay so back to the node tree I have my color space transform CST in my middle node and I have my input so right there it's converted now to rec 709 so if, to achieve you know most of my look I am gonna be using some LUTs and today I'm gonna be using the Danny Gewurz LUTs and so you can download this, um, you can buy it and download this from, you know, his own channel. And so the one I like the most is, um, I think, oh yeah, this one, Forest. So I'm just going to click that and it puts it on. I go to my first node right here. And then one thing to note for using LUTs is making sure the gamma is right. So I found that when I use this DG Forest, the gamma shifts more towards like a greenish look. And so a way to fix that is just go to that first node and then I just shift this gamma over to where I need it to be. So yeah, I shifted it over and then as you can see, it's very, um, I wouldn't say like defined yet. So what I'm going to do right now is just um, go to the primaries and then just mess with the lift gamma and gain. <clears throat> so, so far it's looking really good. Um, one thing I do want to add, so I'm going to use option S just to add another node following node three, and then I'm going to go into the glow. Pretty much what this does is it replicates almost like a mist filter if you didn't or weren't using one on your camera already. The correct way to do this is you throw it on, go to the effects tab and then go down and go to the composite type and change that to the soft look. And then now that only affects the highlights. So now you can go to the sh uh, shine threshold and change the intensity. So as you can see, it kind of makes that glow um, around the edges. So now I'm just gonna mess with that a little bit. Make it right there. And then one thing I like to do is take down the saturation a little bit because it could be a little bit too much. And then, and so after that, um, one thing that I would also like to try if you really want to get more of like that filmic look is to add halation. 100%. You can see, you know, that reddish hue being applied. And I think it's a little bit too strong right now, so I'm going to change the strength. I think something like that. So let me turn this off and on. I think it looks really good so far. Is I'm going to add a node between one and two and I just want this to affect just this grass area. So I'm going to do a node prior so what you can do for a shortcut is shift s and then that adds a node before the one you selected. So now I'm going to go to the selector panel qualifier and then click the color on 
And then what you do is you click Shift H, <clears throat> and then that shows you the color that you have chosen. And then at this point, you can key out whatever changes you need to make. And so now I'm going to go to just the normal color tab or the, now I'm going to go to the primaries wheels and then just change that gain because I don't want it as bright. And then that lift just to bring down the darks. As you can see, I'm going to make it full screen right here. So you can see a lot has changed, starting with the LUT that has been applied onto this. And then I also made changes, as you just saw, to the grass, changing the hue and the, or not the hue, the exposure of it. And then also adding the glow, which really softened up the image. So it takes out that digital sharpness. And then also adding the halation to add a little bit more of a style to the video. Okay, so I have this next clip imported into my timeline. And this is a clip from a recent project we did for a client. And they just want a more simple, um, almost professional look to it. Nothing too stylized. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna speed it up real quick. Okay, and so for this clip right here, this was shot in uh, S-Log3. And one thing I'm gonna do is I want to use the LUTs that are already provided by DaVinci Resolve to you know, give a different type of look. So what I'm gonna do, instead of having an output of gamma 2.4, I'm gonna go down to uh, right here where it says Cineon Film Log and click that instead. And so it kind of flattens it out. And so what you can do now is go to the LUTs and then you go to Film Looks. It's already provided in DaVinci. And you go down and they have a couple different LUTs and you can kind of just scroll through, see what you like the best. For me, it's probably this one right here or this one and I really love the warm tones that this one has so I'm going to just do that apply it as normal and so far it looks like you know nearly perfect and all I really need to do is a couple of changes in the exposure so I want to brighten up the shadows a little bit <clears throat> so I want to bring the exposure down just on the highlights a little bit because I think it's a little bit too much so just about right there and so far it's looking really good. If I zoom in really close right here, um, you can see that a lot of it is really well exposed. I think that's mostly due to the lighting and how we set everything up. But so far just from the conversion and throwing on the LUT, it's pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna just make a few more edits. Okay, and so really, this was probably one of the easiest clips. And as you already saw, I just have three nodes in this node tree. So one being the color space transform, the third one being the Rec 709 LUT for, from DaVinci that's provided, which is a Kodak 2883 um, LUT. And then I also just have the first node, which is really just minor adjustments to the like, shadows and highlights. And pretty much that's it. I mean, I really love how this LUT looks. and. It, color grading doesn't have to be too complicated. I've seen videos where they have huge no trees, but this one, I just love how simple you can use um, if you properly expose all your clips when you're filming. Okay, and so this is the last clip that I'm gonna be color grading today. And so this is a clip from a documentary that we shot recently. So if you guys wanna check out the full documentary, you guys can click the link up here or you can view it on our YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm gonna start Add in my three nodes as usual and go to color space. So I just did color space adjustments already. It looks super good so far. And so now what I'm gonna do is go to LUTs. The one I really like right now is this Fincher Yellow, which is from Danny Gavert's LUT pack. And so I'm just gonna apply that on. I'm gonna change down the intensity or the output just a little bit. I think it's a little bit too much. About right there, I wanna make sure to keep like that yellowish tone that it has. And what I'm going to do is just go back to the first one and just make that gamma adjustment. So as you can see, it's a little bit too yellow. So I'm just going to drag this over to the blue side, which is the opposite color, which is about right there. So, so far, as you can see, this is Rec 709 and this is a lot applied. And then right here is a gamma change. Okay, so right now I'm just going to change a little bit of adjustments with the shadows. I want to make sure those highlights are 
good. And then one thing I do want to go to and add is specify the exposure. So one thing I love about this um, HDR wheels is that you can ch choose certain parts of the exposure. And so if you go like, what I want to do right now is change the shadows a little bit in the exposure and you just go to shadow and this little toggle right here shows you what you're changing. And so as I click that, I can move this slider off to the side and it changes the range of what you are choosing. So I want to just get kind of his shadow side. I think it's a little bit too dark. I just want to bring that up a little bit. So in the moment, what I'm going to do is just change the exposure. So start with that. I don't want to make it too, too much. Yeah, so depending on the style, I mean for this one is we just kind of want to keep a more clean look to it. But if you want to go for a certain style for the video, you can apply this glow look and it changes the video a lot. So as you can see, I'm just toggling back and forth on, off, on, off. So just depending on what you want to do with your video, there's different effects that DaVinci has that you can layer on top of it just to change that. And so I'm just gonna keep it off because I like that because I just love how clean it is and for the video that we have, the documentary, I think this is the look that we wanna go for. Okay, that was our color grading video for today. So if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys do subscribe because you can go check out all these videos as well as see if our upcoming projects such as a short film, um, some future tutorials, as well as our client and commercial work that we have going on. And then one thing I also like to note is that this is by no means the correct way to color grade. This is what we just have found effective for us and how we use DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again and we'll see you in the next one.